name is Jen. I'm here waiting for my friend. I think he is in the same study as you. The one where you take a pill each night before bed? For asthma? Yeah, that one. He's in that with you. Cool. There he is. Come on. Oh, this is my friend, Ben. I call him Big Ben. Say hi, Ben. He's a little nervous and doesn't feel so well today. I know he's not feeling well because he's carrying an orange ball. I'll tell you about that later. Since you're both in the same study, let's show him the steps he has to follow each day, like how to use his new PDA and stuff. Okay, Ben, let's get started. Ben, if they can do it, you can do it. It's pretty easy if you follow the steps. Oh, I almost forgot. Before we get into the good stuff, remember, if you need to stop this movie to ask a question of your parents or the doctor or nurse, just click on the pause button at the bottom of the screen. Step 1. The PDA. Ooh. You get a PDA today to take home. Ooh. No. It's not a public display of affection. God. Your PDA is pretty darn awesome. It's your own personal computer. I'll show you in a little bit how to use your new handheld computer. You can start using it today if you want, but the most important thing to remember is that two weeks before your first day of school, it's extremely, super, extraordinarily important for you to start using your PDA. Also, it's super important to remember that you must return your PDA at the end of the study. Since you received your PDA, your study doctor should have also explained to you certain risks associated with the study. Step 2. The phone call. Two weeks before school starts, your phone is going to ring. Your parents will talk with the doctor's office and answer some questions and arrange to have the study pills ready for the day before your first day of school. Remember, when that phone rings, you definitely have to start using your PDA if you're not using it already. Now, let's talk about school. Ugh. Step 3. The night before your first day of school means your first pill. This is very important. On the night before your first day of school, you will take your first pill before you go to bed. It's chewable, so it's really easy to take. And if you want to eat or drink some water with it, that's totally okay. You want to take your pill right after you use your PDA each night. So, you use the PDA and then take your pill and then head to bed. So easy. Step 4. PDA details. Your PDA isn't a toy. It's the most important part of this study because you'll use it to answer some questions and tell the doctors how you're feeling. If you are 6 to 8 years old, you'll need your parents to help you. But if you're 9 to 14, you can answer the questions on your own under parental supervision. I know, some parents aren't the best with computers, but if you need them, just ask. So, here's the deal. Every night before you go to bed, you need to record how you feel. The PDA will ask you some questions. When answering the questions, it is really important to be as honest as possible about how you have felt all day. Step 5. Office visits. Come back, Ben. It's okay. The doctor is just going to check to make sure everything is going all right with the study. And you only have one scheduled appointment with your doctor. He asks you some questions. He takes your blood pressure. And boom, that's it. Piece of cake. A few weeks after you start school, your study doctor or nurse will call you and ask you or your parents some questions about how you've been feeling and how you're doing. Step 6. Tell someone. It's really important to tell someone if you don't feel well or if something feels weird. If you have to go to the doctor or hospital because you are sick or something, have your parents tell your doctor right away. Hey parents, it's really important to follow the plan for worsening asthma that your doctor gave you. It is also important to just do what you normally would do when you think you need to seek medical attention. If you need to go to the doctor, well then go. Or, if there are any other conditions that require medical attention, just be sure to call your study doctor as soon as possible. Step 7. The letter. Make sure you remind your parents to give the school nurse the study letter. It's always good for the nurse to know you're in a study. Your school nurse will keep this with your inhaler. And remember, you can use your albuterol inhaler like you normally would during the day. Okay, that's it. Easy, right? Now let's check out your PDA. Hey Ben, how are you feeling? Good. Do you want a new color? Okay, then let's show everyone what the colors mean and how to use their PDA. Come on, let's go. This should look like your PDA. Of course, yours isn't this big. This is big so you can help Ben put in the answer. All right, there are three things you have to do. One, plug in the PDA. 
2. Put the PDA into phone jack. And 3. Turn on the PDA. Great job! Okay, now on to the questions. Each day you'll have to answer a color question on your PDA. Each of these colored balls represents how you would feel throughout the day. Ben was feeling pretty yucky earlier, so he was holding an orange ball. How do you feel now, Ben? So green is how you would feel if you didn't have any coughing or difficulty breathing today. Let's try another. So, you'd pick yellow if you had a little wheezing or a little cough. It's definitely not bad. Do it again. That was close. Orange is what you feel when you have worse than normal asthma. So if you are coughing more than normal or breathing is more difficult, you'd pick orange. You know what's next. Whoa! Red is if your asthma gets really bad and you have to see a doctor or go to the hospital. I really don't like how I feel when we're in the red room. Let's get out of here. Now that you and Ben know what the colors mean and how to honestly answer the PDA questions, there are a few questions with numbers to answer. Some questions want to know, for instance, how much of the time you had trouble breathing, zero being none of the time, and five all of the time. Do you understand, Ben? Okay, I have a better way to explain. If zero is none of the time, well, see, there's no rain, and you can go out and do everything. If you pick one, you had trouble breathing a little of the time. By picking two, you had trouble breathing some of the time. Three means you had trouble breathing a good bit of the time. See, it's sort of raining threes now. Four means it was hard to breathe most of the time. There's a lot of rain now. And five, well, watch out. If you choose five, then you are answering, it means that you had a hard time breathing all the time. It's like a downpour. So let's help Ben put in the best and most honest number for some questions. So, there is one last thing to remember. At night, you'll need to record how many puffs of your inhaler you used each day. So, if you need your inhaler, use it. But just remember to count how many times you use it in each day. We're almost done. Each night, before you go to bed, you'll answer a few questions about the asthma symptoms you had during the day and the night. Your PDA will ask questions about whether or not you have a cold, have had to throw up, or if you have felt sick with a sore throat, chills, a headache, and other questions like that. Once you do that and take your pill, you'll need to get credit for your answers. So put the PDA into the holder and plug it into the phone jack. When you do this, you send all your answers into the doctor. And your answers are really important. So it's really important for you to send them in every night. Okay, Ben, let's go. Woo! You did it. That's all you have to do. Easy, right? If anything seems a little hard for you, just ask your parents for help. And remember to be as honest as possible when answering the questions each day. I had fun, and I think Ben did too.